Hey YouTube, um, I haven't made a, a video in a while, so uh, the reason why I wanted to make a video is because I, I finally um, made it down to my tobacco shop recently, and uh, wanted to share some new stuff I got with you guys. So, um, one thing I realized, uh, I haven't made that many videos, but I looked at all my... Um, like the list of what I've uploaded and I realized that I'm wearing pretty much the exact same thing the whole time so this time I don't have my uh, red flannel on so exciting that's where I'm going um, okay I uh, my tobacco my local tobacco shop which is um, somewhat local but uh, if you can make that out it is David's Gifts and Tobacco, and it is located um, in Rancho Cucamonga, right next to Victoria Gardens. And I guess, according to the box, it's part of it, but it's not inside the mall or anything. So, it's still a bitch to get to, because everything's just all screwed up around there, traffic-wise. So, um, my local tobacco shop... I was talking to him, talking to the owner, and she said that uh, if there's any specific tobacco I wanted to try, I can put uh, my name on a list, and whenever it comes in, she like put it as maybe once or twice a year, um, she'd give me a call. And, I don't know, three, three four months ago, maybe, I, I put in uh, my name down for some uh, Stonehaven. Got a call a few days ago, and fortunately, I just got paid, so uh, I was able to hook up some Stonehaven, and uh, it's super good. Jesus criminy! I was very surprised when I opened up the package. It still smells. I've already jarred my my um, tobacco. You can see how I do that in little mason jars, and. You pack it pretty good. You can get about four ounces inside one of these little guys, and uh, I store them up in my my cellar. Um, so okay. I was uh, able to pick up a couple other tobaccos that I haven't tried yet, and um, I. Uh, We'll share those with you as well. I, I read a lot about this, uh, I believe it's a McClellan blend. Yes, a McClellan blend. Um, McClellan uh, 35 uh, Virginia ribbon. Stave aged pipe tobacco. Uh, heard, a lot of, heard a lot of good stuff about it. And, um, Screw it. Give it a try. I haven't tried any Virginias from Dunhill, so I got uh, Dunhill Flake. I'm a good fan, a big fan of Flake tobacco and Virginias. So, uh, and like I said, I haven't tried Dunhill's version of a Flake. And this one, um, I've read about and just wanted to try, is uh, the 965 mixture from Dunhill's. Um, this one, I got it because, you know, it's their anniversary blend, um, packaging's cool, uh, I haven't been steered wrong with McClelland, and, uh, this is their anniversary, uh, blend, it comes with a cool, uh, seal on top, you can see, uh, it's like a whale and shit, pretty cool, and, uh, it's kind of like you don't want to open it and shit. If I could afford it, I would have bought two, but not this time. And then kept one for uh, safekeeping, maybe to age. And last but not least, everyone's been raving about this shit, and uh, I have yet to try it. So I bought some Frogmorton Cellar, and I've heard a lot about it. 
I was talking with the owner about the of the tobacco shop, and there was like, the shit's flying off the shelves, and blah blah blah. So, yeah, that was uh, basically what I picked up today. I spent a little bit more than a plan to, but uh, it was nice to actually go pick up something new. And, uh, yeah. But uh, I did smoke some Stovenhaven. Um, I think I got cut off because there was loud noises in the background. And uh, you open it up and, and you, you smell like a... Uh, like a whiskey. I mean, I opened it up and I was like, damn, I don't drink um, anymore. And uh, this shit reeks of booze. <laughs> but uh, surprisingly or not, it's not a strong uh, flavor when you do smoke it. But um, I have to say, this Stonehaven is probably up there with um, best couple tobaccos I've smoked uh, so far. I'm very happy with it. Um, the tobacco shop lady, she said that I could uh, call her and let her know how I like it. Because she's like, if you want to uh, buy another bag, I guess there's some other people that have shit on reserve. And they won't pick it up. Um, like, if they don't, I can come snatch that shit up. And I was like, well, I don't know. It's an 8-ounce bag. I didn't know if I'd like it. And, uh, I do, so I'm going to call her back and be like, yeah, let me know. If these guys don't pick it up, I'll come swoop in on that and have another bag up there. So, uh, yeah, very good. Um, cool smoke. I have a kind of a thin-walled pipe. It's my uh, Frank Medico pipe. I think it's a, consider a faucet. And, uh, I really like this pipe one of my first pipes it's light so it's nice to hold in my mouth and your jaw don't get all tired and shit and uh, good driver I just pop up my mouth and puff away while I drive and I have to say like uh, my pipe stayed cool um, tastes delicious all the way down um, wasn't strong like I could totally smoke Stonehaven every day uh, it's an everyday smoke I, I did um, jar most of it but uh, I left some out to smoke uh, for a while. And I'm pretty sure that uh, I'll be cracking that jar here soon. So uh, with that, I want to thank all my subscribers uh, for watching and sus subbing me. Um, and um, I apologize for not making videos. I've been super busy and stuff going on. So uh, with that, I hope you guys have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye.